go for the push tool. Let's make this nice and small. Nice and small, not that small. Nice and small, like so. And let's just try pulling his ears out, make that ear a little bit longer. There we go. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other ear, but because the background fur there would get in the way, right? So if I just start pushing this, all right, his fur is gonna get pulled along with it, which I don't want. So let me bring up my history and slide back. Do, 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 do. Let's, I don't wanna lose that one. Where were we? Do, 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 do. There we go, right there. And I'm gonna use the freeze tool. So let's go in here, grab freeze. And I'm gonna use the brush because this is easier. Um, and I'm gonna very carefully brush along the outside of his ear there. Oops, looks like I'm gonna have a little erasing to do in there. Um, thaw, use the thaw tool. Let's take this down a little bit smaller. And I think a little bit of fading in on that ear is gonna be okay. Back to freeze. Let's put a little bit more on this edge here. Actually, we don't wanna to go too much because we do want to kind of thicken out the end of that ear there. So let's, let's leave a little bit of breathing room in there. All right, let's see how that works. Actually, I'm gonna clean up this outside of the area here as well because we want that to be able to be affected. All right, let's try that. Grab the push tool and start pushing. Let's get a little bit more intensity here. Start pushing his ear. There we go, see, look at that. Pushing that out, but leaving that fur intact. Now, obviously I've pulled up some fur in there as well, but, uh, but we're getting there. That's fun. Fun stuff. It's just silly. It's just silly. We're talking silly talk here. Let's get this a little bit bigger. Make the opacity down a little bit. Maybe pull his forehead down. Maybe make the little big spots, give him a little wavy wave in there. Make him look a little bit more. Look, looks like a member of KISS. Now, look at that. There we go. It's the KISS look. Cool. Well, that's fun. Now I can clear that mask. Let's clear the mask. And that is one sad looking animal. All right, let's try another one. <laughs> another animal picture because we can. Let's back out of here. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm going to save this. I want to. I want to save these. Apply these changes. Oh yeah, we didn't look at that. How do we apply the changes? Exit. You have uncommitted changes. You sure you want to leave this persona? No. Okay. How do I commit the changes? Back to the hand tool, perhaps. There we go. Hand tool, and now I can apply that and commit those changes. Oh, very important. Glad we. Uh, glad we ran into that. Okay. Now let's go grab another, another image plus. Im oh, not new document. Um, import from cloud. And no, not search go away. Not search affinity photo and let's bring in the duck, which is a bird not too dissimilar to the one we saw yesterday, but we're just going to bring it up anyway because, hey, what the duck? Why not? You knew that was coming, admit it. Okay, um, we're going to do the same wildness that we did to the other poor bird. We're going to take his eye. Let's go into liquefy. Let's uh, use the pinch tool. We're going to make it bigger. And we need to make our brush size considerably smaller. Let's see, right about, let's try right about so. And take the speed down a little bit. Let's not go crazy on here. And then I'm just brushing over his eye. And I'm kind of running in a circular motion here to kind of really spread that out a little bit, spread out the motion. It's pretty slow. Let's take that up just a little bit faster. Circular motion, circular motion. Yeah, let's take it, speed it up a little bit more. You can see on the mesh how the mesh is bulging out. Let me make a slightly bigger brush. There we go. That's pretty big. Let's see if we look at our history in here. You can see the differences there. There we go. From before to the after. The mesh seems to slow it down, actually. Let's hide the mesh. Maybe not. Maybe it's just my imagination. Okay, so that... that that is one big-eyed duck. We could we want to go crazy. Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy. Let's make this even bigger and take the opacity up as well on that. Let's make it really big. Let's make the brush size a bit bigger. And if you're wondering what the difference between the opacity and speed are, we covered that all quite at length yesterday in the macOS version of this video, so I would encourage you to check that out. Okay, that's only mildly disturbing. Let's grab the push tool and let's kind of take that bulb on his head and we're going to make it even bigger. Poor bird, let's take the opacity down on that so it's not too, oop, that's too much, too much. Undo, undo. We need a bigger brush. Lower the opacity. Let's try again. There we go. There we go. That's a little bit more natural looking, if you could say such a thing about this poor bird. And now let's- You've just watched a five-minute sample of a live training video. 
To see the rest of it, head to photoapps.expert slash live where you can purchase and download it or sign up as a member. Members can stream any live training video as often as they like and have access to video tips and other exclusive member bonuses. To learn more about membership, head to photoapps.expert slash members. <laughs>